City, the After Podcast, where we dive into the world of the popular novel Rose City by author Karina Q. In each episode, we will be discussing a different aspect of the book, from the complex characters to the intricate plot twists and everything in between. Check out Rose City on Kindle Vella to stay up to date as we explore unique perspectives and insights on the story. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing? I am blessed and highly favored. <laughs> Not doing well. I'm doing well. How are you? Great. Just peachy. All right. So we have an icebreaker question this morning. Kyrie, can you read? What was the icebreaker question? Was it about a fun? Oh, no, you didn't. Okay. Um, It was what was like one fun fact that people don't know about you and what is a misconception about you who won't talk to what, what is first? <laughs> what is a misconception or a fun fact about you that most people don't know i'm 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 tired of you i'm, I'm tired of both of y'all just jump in um hey, my fun fact is that i'm fun <laughs> i'm sarcastic I don't take nothing serious. Everything's a joke. <laughs> it's a blessing and a curse, I guess. No lies so, were told. My, <laughs> my fun fact is I do not have joints in my thumbs. I was born without joints in my thumbs. You can see I don't have any lines. I cannot bend my thumbs at all. And it said it's like one in 10,000 people that have this trait. So that's my fun fact about me. <laughs> okay, there was a part two to that, folks. And yeah, y'all trying to skip past what is a misconception that most people have about you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Misconception about me is that um, I'm not fun. <laughs> that um, I'm this evil thug that just can't wait to, you know, hop on people and blah, blah, blah. Er, they, whatever. I guess um, people describe me a certain way. And then when I actually like meet the group and meet whatever, they be like, oh, I didn't expect that. I, I heard, okay. I thought you were dangerous or I thought you were going to fight me or I thought you were going to beat me up. I'm like, where does this thug mentality, I'll be talking shit, but for the most part, I don't just be running around just, you know, bullying people. I don't like bullies. I don't like bullies, but I guess that's a misconception. Um, well, two actually, because what I've heard from men is they think I'm stuck up. Oh, you fool yourself. Okay. Like, all right. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you could go. Yeah, that way. <laughs> um, and so there, there's my misconceptions that I'm stuck up thug. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I think that's my biggest misconception that people think about me that um, because I'm really quiet and I'm really observant before I uh, jump in and interact. You know, people think that um, I'm stuck up or I'm super bougie. I'm a little bougie, but, you know, I'm not super bougie. Um, and then also, <clears throat> I think a lot of people are really surprised when they learn that my favorite genre of music is country music. So um, I think those are my, my biggest ones. <laughs> Alicia has some questions. I saw it in your face. Is there something you want to say? Cause I know you were shocked. You were shocked. You know, <laughs> keep calling me out. <laughs> I'm over here just making my expressions, minding my African American business, thinking nobody's catching that. She be like, "No, nah, no, nah, I saw that Twitch." No, I was a little surprised about the country music thing. I didn't know that because when we went to Cali, Cali, I was bumping all type of shit. You just was sitting back there. I guess I wasn't playing the right tunes. <laughs> you should have said so. <laughs> Oh, no, I won't say anything ever. I'll just vibe with whatever the vibe is. <laughs> I 
because uh, we were talking this morning because the Super Bowl was just two days ago and we were talking about how Beyonce has a, a new album coming out and it's going to be country. And I had told her, um, you know, I listened to the song and whatever, it was cool and whatnot. And I was saying that a lot of people don't know about me that I'm, I also like country music. Yes, I love my little ratchet beat. You get me twisted. Like, like country music. I was really big into Liam Ryan's The Dixie Dicks. Faith uh, Hill and like Shania Twain, like their music was like 20 years ago. So I was a teenager, but I was into their stuff. And um, so she was like, I didn't know that. And I was like, I didn't know that she was like so big into like country music. I love it all, baby. Like rock and roll, R&B, jazz, classical, your girl, depending on the, the mood, the time of day, it can be whatever it needs to be. You know, my kids be like, you were just listening to classical music. Now you got, uh, Gucci man over there on? Yes, because that's what we're doing, okay? Like, depending on what I'm doing, I might be like, hmm, I need to relax a little bit. And at least I'm sick and tired of your looks, and I'm going to keep calling you out, okay? My God, Jesus. No, but no. <laughs> I'm calling you out, because every time I'm around you, I don't hear shit but that ratchet. Did it, blah, 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 blah. I'm always like, what is this? What what, what are you listening to? Um, And R&B and whatever. I have never been around you. I'm not calling you a liar i'm just saying i've never heard you listen to classical music or country like we used to like actually clown that shit as kids so mm, that's the look <laughs> so the country music and the classical music didn't start till i was around like 13 um i became a big fan of like mozart and uh yeah i think mozart is probably like my favorite so if you want to know who like my favorite jazz musician of all time ella fitzgerald that is like that's my heart and my everything. Like, I love her music. Ella Fitzgerald is everything. I'm really into um, Duke Ellington and Charlie Parker. It's all of those, like, really old school pioneers of jazz music. I love, love, love their stuff. But, yeah, I don't, you know, it was a fear. I, not so much of, like, the jazz music because, you know, my dad was a big jazz head. And my dad used to actually play in a jazz band. So um, I, I think I get, like, my love of all music from him. Be listening to me listen to thong or I'm listening to like something like I'm always listening to, I, I like music I'm just a music person but I think it really came from him because he was listening to all the friends music well but I'm, I try you know, oh, oh, never really okay. um your dad um yeah he now is coming into play because I remember him playing he played a little bit of everything and then around Christmas time, you know, he, yeah. I mean, his 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 boom box or whatever that, I don't know if that was his boom box, you know, that's in the funeral home still, in the prep room on yeah. top of the cooler. Yeah, that's his. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That thing's been, I've been, I remember as a kid, like on the table when, before the funeral home got remodeled, when everything was downstairs, like he did all the office stuff downstairs. Had that like desk thing or whatever, and he would play music and stuff like that. So, and he played everything except <laughs> rap and hip hop. Oh, what did he? He used wasn't to call a fan. He's called Yahoo. He's in my Yahoo. Yeah, yeah. We were Yahoo. So, <laughs> on a good day. yeah, on a good day. I'm not really sure what the Yahoos were, but we were. Um, yeah, he didn't understand rap music. He was like, oh, he's like, yo, mama. And I'm like, sir, back off. It ain't all like that, okay? It's different types of rap music. It's not all the same. But um, yeah, I was really surprised this morning when, you know, Kyrie said that it was her favorite music. And I was like, how come we've been friends now for over two years? And she's like, you know, people will like will come for you. So again, it wasn't until I got a little bit older that I said Liam Brands and Faith Hill, Giant Twain and the DC Chicks. Because I don't know. It was like their music kind of just like it's supposed to sound really good. So I was like, yeah, we did. So um <clears throat> what a fact that most people don't know about me. I think you you guys know this, so I thought it was common, but they said it wasn't. Um I'm extremely goofy. Like, baby, you can't get me nowhere. Like <laughs> um when but it's like you have to know me to be able to access that side of me, because when I'm extremely goofy. Um, yeah, goofy, corny, crazy. Just, I love to laugh. I love to tell little stupid jokes. I'm big in the voices. I've always, as you guys hear the different personalities coming out on the podcast. So that's something, um, apparently when my girls tell me that when I'm in public, I'm very reserved and I'm quiet. I didn't know. Um, but when I'm with girls, 
it all comes out. Like I just, I open the gate, honey, and all the animals come flooding out. Like it's the ark. So a lot of people don't me or, or misconception. I think a misconception about me is that I'm like mean, like Alicia said, I'm not like, I, I, and I like people probably way too much, even though they get on my nerves. It's like a Pisces thing. I love you, but I hate you. Um, not particularly just like one person. I'm just saying in general, like I, I love to be at home when I go out and about and there's a lot of people. I just be like, oh my God, there's so many people here. I want to go home. I don't like being around people like that, but I like people, but I think I have a little social anxiety sometimes. I think that's the problem. But um, yeah, misconception is, oh, she's mean. She's rude. She thinks she all that. I mean, I am all that, but it's not like I think that I am. God just happened to make us all, all of that. You all that too, baby, because you, you know, you're tuning in. So God made you all that too. Um, but yeah, there's definitely this misconception uh, of like, I'm dangerous or I will hurt people. And it's like, where do y'all come up with this? But you know, when Alicia was saying that, what came to me is like, the people who put that out about you are usually like the people who are tired because they can't. I think a lot of it came from our own families, to be honest, like putting those labels, oh, they're difficult to deal with. She's, she's violent. Like, who have I beat down like that if it wasn't warranted? Like, nobody, I'm just out here slapping people in their mouth. I'm not up here just running up on people, bullying people. What people have learned over the years is like, I used to be able to push her around, man. I used to be able to, you know, um, say little slick stuff and she wouldn't catch it or she wouldn't call me out. And now it's like, we're too grown to not be calling people out on their, on their mess. And people will take it as you're mean or you're quick, but it's like, no, I'm respecting myself and you, and you'll, and you'll get hurt if you, if you, if you really have to. But, uh, no, but generally I like people. And I'm very happy. I have a serious mug. Like I'd be looking like, attitude or who did got that work but really i'm just like it's just my resting face so i'm always trying to be aware when i'm out in public like don't look like a hardened criminal you know look inviting look warm I'm trying i'm trying to work on the face game you know what i mean but that's that any questions before we move on ladies